Shalom brothers and sisters in Christ I've not been to Kiki City for quite a while Before the pandemic, I think sometimes twice a week or three times a week I like driving to the city And it wasn't as jammed as it is now But today's traffic is great I hope it's not a public holiday I don't think so because uh, Good Friday is coming in a couple of days time but I'm just driving to town um, yeah the weather has become nicer uh, when I started it was very cloudy but now it's quite sunny uh, outside very bright uh, sunny and I, I'm st I still want to talk about fathers and sons Bearing in mind that there are a number of verses that tells us in the New Testament, including the teaching of Jesus Christ, that Jesus has come, uh, he said, I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword, you know, come to cast fire on earth. And he, go on, he goes on to say that you know, within the family, two will be against three. Three will be against two, you know, daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Maybe sibling rivalry, hatred, fighting, and also a father, fathers against sons, and sons against fathers, and so on. And really, in the end time, if listen to my previous vlog, where the return of Elijah is to bring the hearts of the fathers to their sons, to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. So there's this two opposite picture, perhaps is one which means difficult times will come during the end time where many families what we call broken families there's a lot of disharmony within the family sometimes even the family appear to be united but they have dinner together like for us Chinese we attend reunion dinner and so on but sometimes the, t the tension in the air is so thick that you don't really have much appetite to eat you know, just in case you say the wrong word <laughs> and one sibling or a relative uh, is offended you know and then here we go again you know but it is not just Jesus's teaching but likewise Apostle Paul says uh, during the last days uh, difficult times will come and you know, I think he listed 16 or 18 categories of people uh, in the last days, uh, why why he believed that uh, difficult times would come, and he says that he says that um, yeah, children will be disobedient to their parents, rebellious, and that's what's happening around the world. I mean, very sad if, if sometimes single mothers or single fathers think every child is entitled to have both parents. It's difficult enough to raise a child, husband, and wife, or mother and father. Uh, I think single parents have their hands full, uh, even though it's just one child uh, to, to take care, having to work, and child care, and stuff. That would not be easy at all. But um, even in Micah, uh, Micah has this very famous passage that you do not even uh, put your trust in, in the person lying beside you, maybe your your spouse or your wife or your husband. Don't even trust your spouse because your enemies are those within your household. So within your household, there will be people that reject God's purposes, that reject the ways of the Lord, that reject the Christian faith. Or perhaps they, they, they call themselves Christians, but they live like the world. They are nominal Christians. Sometimes they are worse than unbelievers. Although they go to church uh, almost every Sunday, 
So I'm just sharing from these passages in uh, the Gospels and then in Timothy by Paul the Apostle and Micah. Uh, if we interpret together with Malachi 4 for the coming of the prophet Elijah to restore the hearts of fathers to their sons and the hearts of their sons to their fathers perhaps it's an indication that during the coming of Elijah families many families will be disunited broken and needs healing it needs love and patience and mercy forgiveness reconciliation between in-laws, relatives, and so on. So that's my sharing, my brothers and sisters. I've reached uh, the city now, and I hope to go for lunch very soon. God bless you. Amen.